Hey guys, Papa Pete back again with another pickup video. And today I have a whole bunch of things here. Oh, a whole bunch of packages. And I've had some of them for so long, I'm not sure exactly what they are. Plus I had a couple that showed up just recently and I think they're gifts. I don't know what they are and I can't wait to find out at the same time that you do exactly what they are. But the vast majority, I believe, are for my Xbox collection. Uh, not only that, got a great craft brew right here. Cocoa in the basket, what more could you ask for? Stick around, I'll be right back. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. For all your Intellivision collecting needs, check out IntellivisionCollector.com, including their newest homebrew releases, Vanguard, The Show Must Go On, Penguin Land, and Poker Risque. Ooh, la, la. And now available, their two newest releases, Operation Cloudfire and Beachhead. That's IntellivisionCollector.com. All right, guys, so before we get to all those pickups from my Xbox collection, it's very uh Fantastic craft brew here. Uh, this is from Big Axe Brewery in Nakawick, New Brunswick. It is a Harvest Moon Hellas Blonde, 4.8%. And Mama C and I were just up in, uh, coming home from Woodstock one day, and we decided to stop into Nakawick, which is on the way here. Uh, picked up a couple of Big Axe Brewery glasses here, as well as tried uh, uh, some flights of their different beer. And this is one that we really, really like. So... Hellas Harvest Moon. And like I said, it's a blonde ale. Uh, look at the color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful golden color. If I'm not mistaken, I probably can't fit it all into this glass, and that's okay. But wow, look at that right there. And uh, it's a beautiful location right there in Nakawick, New Brunswick, uh, where you go in and the, the tap room is upstairs overlooking the... The, the brewery itself, uh, several tanks there. Uh, they have all kinds of different flavors, uh, flavors, I guess that's what you call it, though, all kinds of different brews uh, that they've released. A small little town, but it's fantastic, the quality of the of the, the beer they're putting out. So let's try this one. Harvest Moon Hellas Blonde. Oh, and I'm cheating because, yeah, I had it while I was up there. And I knew I really liked it. Uh, Nakawick, New Brunswick, Big Axe Breweries. Of course, it's known because Nakawick is the home of the world's largest axe. I'll show you a picture of it right here. I've showed it before in videos where I've done Big Axe products before. But this is the first time I actually got to stop and go to their tap room and have some of their different beers on tap. And was so happy. I've never seen this one in the liquor store before to buy a can of it. I could buy it while I was there. So you can be sure that I will be going back and getting more. Anyway, guys, uh, you got to try it. Big Axe Brewery, all their stuff's really good, but the Hellas Harvest Moon uh, Blonde Ale is great. Cheers. All right, so let's get to the pickups. Again, Xbox pickups. A lot of these are eBay, but I've got a couple things in here that are surprises I'm going to leave towards the, till the end. And you know what my strategy is for picking up Xbox games for my collection? Uh, when I'm buying things on eBay and such, I'm trying to fill in the things in alphabetical order. Uh, doesn't mean that if I get the opportunity to pick up a game that's not in alphabetical order, I'm not going to get it. Of course I'm going to get it. But when I'm just looking to fill some of the filler, let's say, I'm going to try to get it in alphabetical order. So that's what I've done here today with some of these eBay pickups. And here's the very first one. Uh, oh, I got to clean that one off the cover, really. But this is ESPN Basketball, 2, 2K4 right there. And let's take a look inside. The disc looks great, and the manual looks great. Doesn't that look good, Coco? Huh? That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right on. It's even got the card inside for the, the free time in Xbox Live. So, anyway, ESPN Basketball. All right, on to the next one. Coco's right up and paying attention. Charcoal just came into the room, and uh, for once, Charcoal's not stealing the basket from Coco. So this one, I don't know what's in this one. We'll rip her open. It's got a weird shape to it. Oh, I see what it is now. That's They just uh, packaged it up very securely, which I got to appreciate. Uh, it felt weird because it had ridges on it. And if you look, he put it in cardboard. So great. I'm more than happy to put it in cardboard. I don't know exactly what the game is right off the top of my head. But uh, where's my knife? I'm going to need a knife to cut through that stuff. 
Sorry, Coco. Charcoal's not going to get your basket from you. You just watch. Oh, let's get the cardboard out. Oh, here's the game. There's a little piece of paper. Let's see, this is from the seller. Thank you for your order. And supporting my small business. If you have any questions about your order, please feel free to contact me before leaving feedback on eBay. Sam. Cool. You gotta love when they put enough care to give you a little note like that. Uh, and in this one, I have ESPN MLS Extra Time 2002. Major League Soccer. Uh, not against got a little more. I probably get that right off the case. Hopefully it's not on the artwork. Not a big deal. It's got the hologram MS MLS official product, so that's good to have. Uh, and the disc and the manual look great. So right on. MLS uh, Extra Time 2002 from ESPN. Um, working on the E's, finished the D's a couple weeks ago, and the case itself looks pretty good, so really happy to have that. Maybe not the best soccer game in the world, or maybe it is. I don't know. i got to check it all out, but uh, still very interesting to have and not one that you see everywhere. Next up, I have one here that came from Weymouth, Massachusetts. Not too far away, about six hours away. And another Xbox pickup. It's uh, anytime they're packed tightly like this, that's that's great. Oh, well, this one looks in really good shape. Wow! And it is ESPN International Winter Sports 2002. Uh, interesting. I don't know what sports are in it. Let's take a look. There's uh, looks like moguls and uh, downhill figure skating, uh, snowboarding, ski jumping. And bobsledding, so that's really interesting. And let's take a look at the disc in, in upside down. I guess it is in there upside down, but it looks fine. And the manual's in immaculate condition there. That looks really good. So, once again, ESPN International Winter Sports 2002. Another one of the E's. There aren't very many left. Let's take a look at the next one. And the next one is actually a two-pack. This might be my last E that I need. Maybe two. Okay, let's take a look. There's two different games in here. Pull the first one out, and it is ESPN College Hoops. Right on, 2K4 Sports. Uh, this one's a harder one to find, it seemed to me. The manual and the disc look in pretty good shape. Uh, college basketball games are kind of interesting. I'm not a big college basketball fan by any stretch of the imagination. This also has the, also has the hologram on it. The mean it's the original case and everything came with it. It's in really good shape. So very happy to have it. Have to have it for my collection in the E's. Am I going to close out the E's? I think this might close out the E's. I got to double check on that. But anyway, ESPN College Hoops, so happy to add that to my collection. But well, you notice there was another game in there because the same seller had another one. Pull little sheet game on reach out reach out to us we're happy to help uh second chance gaming that's awesome like i said before with the handwritten note or thing like that that's great to have in there i picked up a copy of yourself fitness uh, i don't know what we following that right off it's like a yoga game or whatever like that but it is in immaculate condition holy cow never been used like most exercise devices right you buy it with all great intentions and then you never use it but this disc is beautiful so, uh, mark on the front, no big deal. Uh, yeah, so this isn't in alphabetical order, I know, but it's at the bottom of the list, and I believe it's by only Y that it needed, actually, and it happened to be with this other, uh, the, us be, being sold by the same buyer, uh, the same seller that I also get another game from, so of course, take advantage of shipping, right? So, anyway, your self fitness, that closes out the Y's from the other end of the spectrum, right on. All right, now on to a couple more games which came in the mail just the other day, and I wasn't exactly sure what they were. Now, I think I know what this one is for sure, because it's from my buddy from Gamers Playground Auctions. Now, I bought quite a few games from this guy over the last few years. Uh, he bought a whole bunch for me one time before he ever started getting the auction site. I think he was one of the ones that founded the Gamers Playground Auctions. But anyway, he got hold of the day. He said, do you need this one? I want to send it to you. So right on. Cards, cups, and carts. Nick DeVarano. And this is, oh, look at that. 
Jaws Unleashed. So awesome. I've looked at this game different times. Oh, look at the condition of that. That's a beautiful disc. Beautiful manual. I've looked at this game a couple times. I was looking at it once at a store down in Nova Scotia. The guy tried to tell me how it had gone through the roof. Oh, that's a $50, $60 game. It's not. It's in the teens, baby. You know, it's like, I hate it when people try to pull stuff over on you. But anyway, uh, that was down in Nova Scotia somewhere. But this, this, uh, Nick, thank you so much for sending me this game. I had it in my hands that day and it's like i wasn't buying it for the way the guy was trying to scam me so i've needed it ever since i needed it for a long time I, well i needed it right up till tonight up till now anyway uh jaws unleashed very happy to add that i think it might be the only j that i need too so that is absolutely beautiful thank you again nick and make sure you guys check out gamers playground auctions okay last but not least I am not 100% sure who this one is from. I don't remember buying one, but I might have. You know, it's like, I'm getting old, so my memory's not the best it ever was, but it came from Hamilton, Ontario. And I'm going to be very careful not to destroy the address on it because I want to be able to refer to it. But I've been curious what it is. It feels like a an Xbox game. It looks like an Xbox game. And let's see what it is. Wow! Robots! I definitely needed robots. I've I've never seen it in the store before, but I definitely positively need it. There's no note in here or anything. I can double check. There's no note in there. Open it up. There's no note in here. Now I have my suspicion as to who it's from because I only know one person that I can think of off the top of my head in Hamilton, but uh, I'm not even going to try to guess because uh, I'm just not sure. But that person would also have my address, right? So anyway, uh, if it's my buddy in Hamilton who doesn't always live in Hamilton anymore, thank you very much for sending me this game. I need it for my collection. It is absolutely awesome. Robots, what a great addition. Well, guys, there they are. Seven more fantastic additions to my Xbox collection. The number's really getting down there. I think I'm under, what, I'm under 70 games needed now. I don't know how many it is. I got to check it all out. But man this is absolutely awesome gifts and ebay and all these wonderful things i got them all the e's d's c's b's a's and numbers now i have all the z's and y's too so i might have all the j's too but anyway fantastic working our way towards it thank you so much nick thank you so much to the person who sent me robots i really appreciate it like you don't believe and that is absolutely beautiful. Uh, guys, thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with Coco and I here today. Uh, don't forget to hit like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you again in the next pickup video. And I've said it a thousand times now. There will be another pickup video. So you take care. If you haven't grown up. What is going on guys? I'm CM Retro Gaming and you are watching Papa Pete, the old guy gamer. What the hell?